Hello and welcome to Cookies Fishing Capers. Today I'm going to do something quite unusual which is cook. <laughs> it might be by name but it's not normally by nature. But today I'm going to do some experimenting. I'm going to flavour, I've got three tins next to me that I'm going to drain off, dry out as best po as possible and um, put some different flavourings on and colourings and see what we can do so let's see how we get on so as you can see I've put the chickpeas onto a paper towel I'm just dabbing them down at the moment trying to drain off some of the excess water and then what I'm going to do in a short while is uh, as you can see I've started the process already taking some of the skins off so I'll come back to you in a very short period of time so what I'm doing at the minute is I'm just still drying them off at the moment I have taken some of the skins off as you can see there there's still a few with them on but I don't think that's going to matter really because you can imagine this is a complete experiment so I'm going to learn as I go along I think but I'm going to start getting them flavoured up in just a moment so there you go there's my experiment with the turmeric they've got quite a nice colour I can see they are drying up now pretty good so there you go and I'm about to put them into the oven so let's see what happens so I've just given about seven minutes so far I'm probably going to give them another five because I think they're just a very still got that dampness about them at the moment which is not what I want I want it almost to go like nutty so I'm gonna I'll put it in for about all in seven or eight minutes and I'm going to put another five in I think just to try and harden them off and see what happens. So my advice to you is make sure you don't go past 15 minutes. Good news is they do look a lot harder so I'm going to try it. Excuse this rubbishy <laughs> rig but I'm just want to test it out see whether they are any better in fact this one's still got a bit of skin on I think so let's put that on there and then yeah I'm just trying to find yeah that does look like it's done the trick There we go. So, obviously this would be a rig I would normally use with this, but the good news is that does feel almost nutty. Not quite as hard, but I'm looking forward to giving them a whirl. So I'm going to put these into a separate bag airtight and give them a go. I'm, I am, I'm very tempted. There are a few stretches on the river that I still got a bit of water on them so I might give them a go tomorrow evening and uh, see if we can catch on my turmeric so I'm just going to do the next ones now which are going to be a red colouring and I'm going to use paprika okay so there they are in the colander now a little tip I've just found out when you run the tap what I've decided to do this time is run the tap over them and it actually peeled a lot of the outer shells off straight away, which is great. You can probably see a few of the outer shells coming off there. So yeah, little tip, put it on fairly fast, put it over the top of there, and what you find is the chickpeas, the shells, peel off naturally. So yeah, right, we'll get these dried up, come back to you soon. Right, so the paprika chickpeas are ready to go in the oven. And as I said to you earlier, I put it on 150 and it's 10 to 15 minutes keep a close eye on them and uh, yeah let's see how these go okay so we have the paprika chickpeas ready and good to go so just gonna pop that one in so you can see please forgive me on the uh, rig it's it's only for the purpose of 
showing you that it does go through all right. And yeah, I mean, as I say, forget the rig, it wasn't meant for that reason, it was just to show you that. It is a little bit tougher than normal and I'm going to show you the two bags what I've done obviously you've seen the one I've done earlier I'm going to put these into a bag too ready for fishing tomorrow I am going to go on the river tomorrow afternoon slash evening and see if we can pick ourselves some barbel hello yeah just wanted to uh, say thank you for joining me I hope you can see me alright in this light I'm in the kitchen window, it's a bit light to be stronger than I thought, but um, well there you have it, those are what I'm going to use tomorrow on the river. I'm going to uh, either a free stretch or one of the BAA areas and give them a whirl. I don't think it'd be too easy given that it's still running pretty low, but what can you do? I am quite keen to give these a whirl. So uh, we'll perhaps do a session tomorrow afternoon into the night again. Fingers crossed, we might get something decent. So if you've liked what you've seen today, smash up the like button. And if you want to see more, smash up the subscribe. Thanks for joining me.